and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today the red lip. <laughs> the red lip. Oh my goodness. If I was not painting a red lip, uh, like a, a lip pencil, you would not be seeing me in red lips right now. This just seems so unnatural for me. Anywho, this is my update for At The Hop. It is a project that was created by my friend Misty. It is a year-long project. Started on November 25th of last year and goes till November 24th of this year is possibly coming back with maybe some new prompts which would be kind of cool it is within the fantastic ladies I don't know if I said that there was 50 prompts it is based on the 50s and the 60s like music pop culture all that kind of stuff I love it I love that era it was just such a different time kind of wish I was born in that time just because it's so different and the music and the poodle skirts and all of that stuff and I'm a big Ricky Nelson fan if you know you know um so yeah I love it I love it and it shows in this project because um instead of doing it randomly <laughs> as you well know I like to throw everything in at once I put in all 50 prompts because I didn't want to miss a single one and um as of the last update, I only had four left to go. I had some things where I was hitting pan, some for usage, some to finish. It was a little bit of a mix of everything. And I am just, I am tearing up this project. And I am enjoying it. I'm going to be sad when it's over, so I really do hope that it comes back next year. I have four products to show you. One of them is actually leaving this project. I have achieved my goal. It is going to be rolled out. So that one is for the prompt Motown, and that is a black owned beauty brand. So I went with Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Eye Ecstasy Subversive Eyeshadow Palette. And I was working on the shade Synthetica, which is this purple right here. It is not what I thought it was gonna be. It's very pretty, but it is, it doesn't translate on the eye the same as it looks. Like that's a very heavy swatch. This is the way it usually translates on the eye. Um, almost like a topper, but it's a really dark topper. It is very pretty, but it's just, it's not what I was expecting. So I used basically um, like a pencil style brush and I would pack it on my inner corners. And occasionally I would do it all over the lids, but that is why I have like that very deep kind of pan there. And just baby pan right in the middle but pan is pan and it counts. So that one is rolling out. And then there was three, three lonely little products. For the first one, Maybelline, and that is a product from Maybelline or a drugstore product. I own one Maybelline product in my entire inventory of everything, like makeup, beauty, you name it. And it is a polish that it's really old, it's been frankened, and I really just didn't want to put it in here. So I decided to go with a drugstore product. I went with the um, Physician's Formula Diamond Melt Alec. It's like melt, metallic, kind of smooshed together. And this is a liquid eyeshadow in Golden Emerald. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I wanted to um, use it 10 times. I'm at eight. I only need two more uses and I think I'm gonna have that by the next update. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Next is The Great Pretender. That is an item that does not do its job well. I don't know if it's because it's old, it's cheap, it just sucks, <laughs> I don't know. This is NYC, it is an eyeliner. In the Navy is what it is called. And I originally had cap where like I put this at the very tip of the point and held it up and then put a silver line underneath and um, just to do the length of the cap and I want to use this to the point where I sharpen off the entirety of that silver line it is so close I think like two maybe three more sharpens and it'll be there it is very slow going it is a very 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 firm pencil I mainly use it when I am trying to cool off my lip color I am working on a bunch of lip products right now that are very warm toned and nothing that is cool toned so if I am doing a cool toned look 
I mix this in with the gloss and the other warm toned lip products and it definitely just cools down the whole look. So I make it work. It is not ideal. It is too firm to use on my eyes. Things are falling. Things are falling in there or I have a ghost. I'm not really sure which. So yeah, it is usable for that purpose. It's not really usable for my eyes. So that's just how I'm going to use it. You know what? I bet it was my dog. <laughs> on the other side of my bathroom door because my husband just took her outside. It's late at night and uh, she probably wants to get back in to her mommy because she's a mama's girl. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I can still hear her scratching. That's what it is. No ghosts, just a Greta. The last one is A-Line Dresses. That is a product that starts with the letter A. This one I love. I love this brand, Ajua. It is the Bayomint Protect and Shine Oil Blend. I love this. I only use it on wash days and I have noticed since I started using this on my wash day routine, like the styling portion of it, I don't get as many frizzies, which I absolutely love. And I'm making very good progress with this one. So it was like up in here when I started and it started real slow as you can see. And now I am down to here. I figured out how this works for me and which is why I'm using it more frequently now. I'm going to be sad when it's just gone. So I don't know that I'll have it done by the next update, but probably two updates and this one is going to be gone. As for the liquid eyeshadow, it's going to be done by the next update. And the In the Navy Blue Eye Pencil, that's hard to say. It could be two updates, it could be three updates, it could be November for all I know. I would like to have it done before November, but we, we shall see. I'll be down to the last two products by the next update. I, I'm fairly certain of it. And um, this is another project that I would like to know, would you like me to just continue to update two products that are you know gonna be slow going, slow-ish going, um, or would you like me to just use those two up and then do a finale whenever I'm done with them? Do you want to know the little bit of progress? I, I don't know. Let me know. I got, um, I asked that in another video and I don't remember which one it was now where I only had a couple products left and um, I got very mixed responses. Some people said they wanted to see um, monthly updates anyway. Others said, um, just whenever you have some progress or just do a finale. And it was kind of um, su like such a mixed bag and no one answer like really outweighed another one so i don't know let me know what you guys think i i will update every month if that's what you guys want and if you don't then you know whatever whatever i'm i'm good with look for an update next month with one product rolling out and then we will go from there definitely go check out misty she is going to be um down below there's going to be a link directly to her channel and there's going to be a spreadsheet of everyone else that has joined in. And like I said, this is probably going to be coming back again in November because I don't remember um, how many people were on the spreadsheet, how many people joined in, but Misty and I love it. And you know, sometimes you, whether you get a ton of views or not, you just got to like do what you enjoy. And I, we really enjoyed this project. So you know, odds are pretty darn good that it is going to be coming back. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.